Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this creepy pumpkin filled with skeletons. A friend of mine had sent me a picture from online and wanted to know if I could DIY it because they were kind of hard to find in the stores and this is what I came up with. But anyway, there is kind of a funny thing that happens in this video. I thought this pumpkin was hollow and guess what? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> so you just had to watch the video to see my mistake. It was kind of funny and I'm going to leave it in. But anyway, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make it. All right, y'all, let us get started. So this is going to be a fairly simple craft. And my friend Melissa, hey Melissa, had sent me a picture of this, like a ceramic pumpkin with the skeletons in it. And asked if I could make this. She's like, you know, people in the Ray Dunn groups are kind of going crazy over this thing. So right here in a second i'm going to post a picture of what she sent me so that you can kind of compare it as to what we are making so here it comes here's the picture all right so now let us move on to making it you're going to need a pumpkin whatever kind of pumpkin you can find but make sure that it's hollow and this i mean you know you can squeeze this one a little bit and just by the weight of it you can tell that it's hollow but you know you can get this at walmart pretty much any craft store sells these things and then you're going to need some skeletons i got three of these skeletons at walmart we're going to see if i can fit them all in there if not then you know we might only do one or maybe two but i've got three here hi i'm larry and this is my brother daryl and this is my other brother daryl so we're going to put these off to the side where my pen go or pencil rather all right so let, let's cut this off let's cut this off as you can see sort of like the skeletons were like peeking out of the pumpkin so i'm going to try to see about where i want the top to be removed and i'm going to take my handy dandy pencil here and i'm just going to trace because i only have this one pumpkin and um i don't want to screw it up and like cut too much off one side and not enough off of the other side so I'm just going to trace around like this, and then I will go back and remove it. Okay, so where was I? I was already cutting this, and my camera had cut off. But anyway, now that I have the line drawn around, I'm just going to take this X-Acto knife here, and I'm just going to very carefully, 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 just go around and just cut the lid off. Because we are going to be keeping the top. We're going to be using it, so we're going to try to be so careful and not tear it up. But I'm just going to take my time with this. That looks good right there. I'm just going to take my time with this and cut off the top. <laughs> i got to show you all this. i got to show you this. <laughs> it th This pumpkin squished, right? Now, I had gotten a green one from Walmart. It was, it was like a gourd. It was, it was squatty. And when I cut it open, it was hollow. But look at this. <laughs> this one's not hollow. This one's not hollow. But you know what? This might actually work to our advantage. Because I'm going to have to have something to help support these skeletons. <laughs> oh, that is amusing. So I've got, I just got a, a knife here. And I'm going to have to trim some of this out. Oh, this is amusing. It's like, why was the other one hollow and this one wasn't? I mean, is it that? That's crazy. But um, now I'm going to have to cut some of this out. But like I said, this might actually work to our advantage now that I think about it. Um... Because I had something in my head about what to do with the lid here. And um, now that I know that it is not hollow, um, that's actually going to make it easier. So <laughs> now I have to cut some of this foam out of the middle. Okay, okay. So I've got this cleaned out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm still laughing at myself. Seriously. Because I was like all kinds of excited when I, I had cut open the other one for another project. And I'm like, oh, well, this is going to work out just fine. And uh, no, no, but I think, like I said, I'm looking for my scissors. Like I said, I think this is going to work out better for us because this is actually going to give us more stability and we, and I, I need stability. <laughs> so let's cut the tag off of uh, Larry here and let's see. I'm going to have to pop his little legs off because this is not going to fit down in there with the legs on. So I'm going to get my wire cutters. And I'm just going to, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, Lordy. All right. Let's get that out of there. Because it's not going to fit down in there. I'm going to see if I can do all three skeletons. If not, we may just have to stick with one. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we may can do all three. Okay. Let's bring the arms. Yeah, we can definitely get three skeletons down in here. 
I may have to scrape this out just a little bit more. So let me do that. Okay, I think this will work. So now let's just stick our skeleton down in there. Yeah, that will work just fine. I'm sorry that my camera will not go up anymore. I mean, I know it's aggravating, but um, all right. So that will fit in there. Now I'm going to put some other stuff in there. Oh, look, he's leaned back. I could turn that into a bathtub. How cute. All right, stay on target, Amber. Stay on target. So many of y'all are sending me so many good ideas. And I did the uh, Santa Crescent Moon Christmas wreath the other day. <laughs> and everybody's like, please, more Halloween. Like, I'm trying, I'm trying. Because then I have people ask, please do some Christmas now. And then, you know, other people, please do more Halloween. So just know that I'm trying, okay? I'm trying very hard to get everything done. So now I'm just going to get these three skeletons here. I'm going to take the legs off, cut off the tags, and um, just, just get them settled inside this pumpkin just to make sure that I have everything scraped out that needs to be scraped out. Okay, that looks good. They'll all fit. Now, as far as the lid, on the one that was in the picture, the lid was sort of tilted back. And of course, we're not going to be able to do that because these skeletons are fairly tall. So I'm going to have the lid sort of like on top of their heads with their hands coming up like this. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna get some black acrylic paint. Um, do I wanna paint that black or pumpkin color? I don't know, we'll see. I'm thinking I wanna paint it, mm, I don't know. But I'm gonna paint this and then I wanna get some more supplies and we will get to work on the inside. Okay, so the foam that I cut out of there, I'm just gonna try to press some of it like down in the center, that's gonna like put pressure on them and kind of help them to expand here. So, you know, they're not all flopping around. I'm trying to not use hot glue on the foam as much as possible. Even low temp, it, it will melt the styrofoam, okay? And these pumpkins are not cheap. I think $7 is not cheap for a foam pumpkin. So I'm just trying to get them into place. And then using this foam, like I said, to apply pressure so that they don't fall backwards or slip around. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, I do have some of this Spanish moss. Well, my light is acting weird here. And some of this Spanish moss, I'm just going to tuck down in there and just kind of tuck it around. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to hold in there pretty well. I'm not going to glue any of this. I'm just going to tuck it down in there as I'm trying to keep the glue off of the foam as much as possible. And I have a project that I had used this moss on before, and I'm not going to keep the project. So I'm just kind of <laughs> tearing this other one down and taking it apart. I do that all the time. Like if I make something and then I use it for a little bit and then I'm like, okay, I don't want to use this anymore. Then I, I take it apart. You know, I don't like throwing things away if I can salvage things off of it. So somebody had, had fussed at me on another video. You, you use so much of this and you waste it. And no, I don't, I don't like to waste things. A lot of times I like to take it apart and reuse what I can several times, you know, before I throw it away. So let me finish putting the moss in here. I'm going to put it around here and around here and then we'll work on the lid. Okay. So I have these lights. They are orange. I don't know if y'all can see. I know because these filming lights are, are brutal, man. They are very, very bright. So I'm just going to kind of tuck these down in the middle here. And I need some more batteries. I do need some more batteries in these poor lights. So I'm going to just tuck these down in there and then put some of the moss on top. Let's see, just get that down in there. And then the battery pack too can just kind of tuck down in there and then just put the moss on top of it. You're not gonna see it like so. These lights are, oh, well this battery pack, nope, that battery pack is not gonna fit down in there. Well, daggum it, it's okay. Okay, there's this annoying little mat. Okay, and we'll just take this and the lights kind of shine through the rib cages of the of the skeletons here and you can see them like I said, it's going to be very hard to see on camera but um in real life it looks okay <laughs> all right so that's looking pretty good and i guess i'll just have to like let the um let the battery pack lay on the table behind the pumpkin you won't see it anyway okay so now i've got this paint let's turn these lights off these lights i've used several times i'm surprised they still work 
but I have this chalk paint here and the color is pumpkin. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna paint the underside of the lid. Okay, I did get zoomed out just a little bit here so you can see the rest of my disgusting table. But anyway, this is what we have, okay? So we're going to take this and glue it on top like so. And like I said, I know that this is very difficult to see. So I'm just gonna put glue on top of the little skeleton's heads and then I'm just gonna set the lid of the pumpkin right on top. Like so. And let's see, I've got my, I think my glue gun's hot enough. I'm trying to like glue this down without the glue being exceptionally hot. <laughs> you know, I don't want it to melt it. So let's see. There we go. I'm just setting this on top. I'm gonna let that set up and then glue on the hands. Okay, so now the lid is on. I'm just going to take their hands and we're gonna bring it up because I want it to kind of look like he's holding the lid. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky to do because the little fingers are so skinny, but I'm gonna to try to get, there's this daggum net. I'm just gonna to try to get the fingers, there we go glued on. I hate these mats. Oh my goodness. That's what I get for having the window open a little bit a while ago trying to get some fresh air. Okay, so now we're going to put just a little bit of glue on. Oh, and if you like this glue gun, as always, I have the link to where you can purchase it in the description box of all of my videos. Just look down in the description box. I have a lot of links down there to a lot of cool stuff. And I do have the link where it says uh, glue gun, just click on that and it will take you to my Amazon shop where I have the glue gun listed. Um, the little nozzles are sold separately, but they are in that list as well. This exact glue gun and the nozzles. So it is in that list. All right, so now I'm just gonna let this set up. I don't know if I wanna do the other skeletons like that or if I wanna leave their arms down. I gotta think about that. But I do know that I wanna put in just a little bit more of this moss here and there in a few places. See if I could just bring him up the tiniest little bit. There we go, just put that there. So I'm gonna put in some more moss and trim it down and then try to decide what I want to do with their arms. And we'll come back and see what it looks like. Let's say, I know that this is a terrible angle, but you work with what you got. So let me work on this and fix it up. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Let's get some of these other things out of the way. Now, right here, I have these spiders, just a pack of spiders. I got these at Target, and I think I'm just gonna add some of these here and there. This is an awful lot of orange. I like to break up that orange. Um, so I'm just gonna put some glue on here and just stick these down here and there, just to add a little extra spookiness. And I think that'll be that. Um, so you've already seen this at the beginning of the video. So hang tight and I'm gonna have another picture of it. I want it to look like they're crawling out of the pumpkin. Okay, yeah, they're going the right way. Um, and I'll have the picture again at the very end of the video. So if you wanna see that again, just stick around. But anyway, I hope that you liked this. If you would, please give the video a thumbs up, click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I will talk to y'all next time.